Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all having a great Friday. Well, as you can see, I have my turquoise castle out and I got it last week from one day saving. So I thought, why not? And it's nice thin fabric. So that is going to be awesome. And it has 40, 46 colors. And the color today we're using is 38. Four, two. And, of course, you know I have to hit the camera. Holy cow. Well, y'all ready for the weekend again? This is the big hoopty. Let's, let's just do it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Not going anywhere. Not that I know of. So. Yesterday, I went with my daughter. And we went up to that same place where we went mm, we'll call it a month ago or so I can't remember when we were up there and uh, this was a little different area but at the same parking lot it's a big parking lot and you can take all different kinds of trails from that point if you want so we went up on the old railroad bed and looked for sticks we found three my daughter cut them down to size and we drug them back to the car, and then we went out by the lake that's right there. Kind of drove around there for a while. And what else did we do? We went to a couple other little, we'll call them, like places you can turn off on the side of the road looking for sticks. We didn't find any more other than the three that we got. And they were pretty well dried out, so she was happy about that. That means she can set to carving them right now instead of letting them season for a year or whatever. So, I hope that all works out. But, uh, we saw a few little streams and... But nothing, nothing too terribly, terribly exciting. And then we went to the, the grocery store. And got stuff for dinner for both of us, you know, respectively. And I bought uh, pork chops to have for dinner last night, but it was just way too much to make. You know, I, I didn't feel like doing that. So I had nachos last night because I had some uh, leftover stuff for that that I really wanted to get through. And took a two-hour nap because Grandma was exhausted. So was my daughter. She was like, uh, can we go home because my back hurts or this or that hurts. And she was done. We crawled up, not crawled, but walked up a couple tiny ravines. We weren't going down anything too terribly spectacular. But uh, some were quite the challenge. But uh, we had a good time. That's all that, that matters. Yeah, so I didn't, you know, stop to make a video. There were people out, but not a whole lot. When we were coming back into town, there was practically a solid line of cars on their way up to where we had been. So, yeah. So, I came home. I stitched for a little bit. I couldn't keep my eyes open. Yeah, so I had to lay down, take a two-hour nap. and I stitched on my great big ginormous one. And uh, I didn't stitch on anything else, I don't think. I put a, a few more threads into it. So... Yeah, I'm sure the kids are all thrilled that they get an extra day off on Monday because of the, the federal holiday. Yeah. So, oh, Wednesday sucked. Just absolutely sucked. We, uh, we usually get a, a truck in with all the goodies and stuff that the boss has ordered. 
And they usually get there somewhere, let's say, between 1 and 3, usually. And, oh my goodness. It was just, wait, 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 wait. It was just outrageous. I just thought we were never going to get that truck in. And thank goodness we didn't put, she didn't put any more away than she absolutely had to. We get uh, cases of water, of course, so we get about 10 or 12 of those. And then we get stuff like the sandwiches that go into the the cooler where people can just grab a sandwich, like a hamburger or, or a sandwich. We have sandwiches, but there's the stuff you heat up and then there's the stuff you just eat cold. But she had to put all that away into the freezer because we didn't need any out. Oh, gee, Manetli. It just drug on and on and on. Could not take it anymore. I was just one fried puppy by the time I got there, and the boss, she was kind of... kind of uh, tired herself. So... Hang on just one second. All right, I am back. So, other than that, yeah, it's just been kind of, I don't know. It's been busy-ish. You know, and I'm sure this weekend they're just going to have a whole bunch of people at work. You know, coming and going, and the last hoopty of the the summer and yeah like I said um, trying to get the needle if I can get a hold of it um, yeah just people everywhere I'm ready for it to slow down so I really don't have to think about what time to go to the grocery store and everything yeah, I moved up here. I figured it'd be easier. But this material crunches down really nice. I like this thinner th fabric. I've had a couple of these that were thinner way before they started redoing some of the canvases, you know, which is nice. So... Yay. <sighs> I don't think we're going anywhere today. I don't have any grand desires to do that. I may get to the laundromat, but short of that, not too much else. Which is fine with me turn on some music or put on somebody's stitch with me. I watch Shelby all the time. Uh, I think it's, is it stitching or stitch, stitching with Shelby? Her uh, hashtag is below in my description box. I always get that confused. And who else do I watch? Oh, sometimes Diamond Painting Effects Corey will have have one, or Stitcherella will have one, or Desidrow Crafting will have one. So, yeah, I just kind of run the gauntlet and watch everybody and just, just stitch. Sometimes they talk and sometimes it's just music, which is just fine with me. Haven't been watching too much on, uh, what do you call it, Netflix. I haven't, I don't know. I just get tired of looking at Netflix and then I just let it go for a month or so and then sooner or later there'll be something that interests me. And I just put on good music and just stitch away. I may actually get outside today. I don't know that it's supposed to or not supposed to rain. It was a gorgeous day yesterday when my daughter and I were out there when we started out like about Let's call it 10 o'clock-ish. 
and uh, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. And when we got back, we got back about one or so. I mean, it wasn't even hot, hot out there. But when we got back, there were some little white clouds. There was no looking rain. Didn't do any raining yesterday at all. So, yeah. And I picked the wrong color. Can you see that? Look at that. Now I have to go back and do that color just so I know it's there. Oh, my goodness. Some days, Laura. But that color is probably an orange. Where is it? It is 3785. I have no idea. No, I don't think there's there's no orange in this that I know of. But that's usually the way it goes. You know, pick one or the other. Oh, does this happen to y'all? I was trying to think if there was any questions anybody asked me. Um, that I could answer. I don't. If I think of something, I'll, I'll pipe up. Somebody did ask me about what needles I work with. Um, when I'm doing 14, 16, or 18 count, I use these Peacemaker tapestry needles. They're size 28s, and I get these from 123 Stitch. I'm sure you could get them at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or whomever. I have no idea where else you can buy them, but they're really good, and they're nice and thin. They're really wonderful on 14 count, you know, stamped. Now, I use those as well when I'm doing counted. But I'm still, on the other hand, working with 28 count Lagana or 16 count uh, Ada. So, they've, they're have they really good for that as well. So, very good needles. I've had really good luck with those. I learned about those from Vonna Pfeiffer. And I don't remember what her channel is here on YouTube, but she does finishing things. She's very good at finishing stuff. I just love Vonna for that, and she's she explained things really well. So, check her out. But Sometimes I need a, a thinner needle for the 14 count stamped, just because the, the fabric is a little tight woven? I don't know. It just, it goes so much better with those 28 count needles. So, that's why I use them. Now, if you get a Joy Sunday kit, their, their needles are really good. But, if you get it 14 count from somebody else, you know, you might end up with a needle the same size as these. And, for the 11 count, I use um, just the ones that come, like, either in a toolkit like this, or on the side, you know, the canvas. So, those have worked out well for me, but I've never purchased any bigger needles. I think at one time I might have had some 26s, but I have no idea what this size needle is. If you know, put in the description box below. Or not the description, but down in the comments. Because I got nothing. I've never had to go look for them. I've always had enough plenty of needles so very nice and they work just fine I've had a couple that might have had a sheared off end or something like that and I might have broken two or three by pin bending them too hard or something might have happened in shipping where it got broke off where the eye is but Nothing, to, you know, consequential of big, where I've had to throw out a thousand of them or anything. It just happens every once in a while. So, no big deal. This is stitching up nice. The thread is absolutely wonderful. Just love it. Threads are always good in these kits. And I'm with Stitcherella on this one. I mean, this is one of my favorite, you know, companies that make cross stitches. Everything, you know, is right down the line. Every once in a while, we might get a little 
blotchy picture or something. But they, they've been doing a really good job here in the past few months. I mean, well, let's call it this year. They've kind of turned things around. Before, we weren't getting a big enough picture. And now they're nice and big and easy to see. And they're not blurry or anything like that. So they've stepped up their game that way. But the thread has always been nice. And you usually get a toolkit. I don't care what size it is. So that's also nice. So no complaints from me on these. So anybody going anywhere this weekend? Any kind of barbecues or family outings or anything like that this weekend? For the people that live here in the U.S. Oh my goodness. Making sure you're you're still in the the camera frame here. We'll see how this goes. I mean, I might like from here, you know, after the video, jump down here and work on one of the castles and see what that's going to look like. We'll just have to wait and see. But I do love all the blues and turquoises and teals in this picture. It's just absolutely stupendous. And the, what do you call it? The uh, symbols are very nice and easy to see. But this is an 11 count, so usually don't have a problem with them. I have had a couple kits, not from this company, but from other companies where... It, the the ink got smeared, but like I said, it's another thing that hasn't happened all that often at all. I did have one that I had the complete thread card wrong, <laughs> but other than that, nothing, nothing too terrible. So they must mean they're doing their job somewhere. Right. I think we got it. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.